Ida for threatening my family after they insulted my wife in front of my face. I'm 22 years old, and my wife is 21. We've been together since childhood and started dating when I was 17. We've always had a special bond, and getting married eight months ago was a dream come true for both of us. However, there's a unique challenge in our relationship. My wife was in an accident when she was 11, and since then, she hasn't been able to walk. We're working on it, but progress has been slow and uncertain. Our wedding was a beautiful affair with family and friends joining us to celebrate. My family had criticized me for marrying so early, calling it a rash decision. I have two elder brothers, each two years apart, and an elder sister who is four years older than me. They all attended our wedding, and I thought they accepted my wife despite their initial reservations. A few days ago, we had a family dinner to celebrate my eldest sister's upcoming wedding. It was a lively evening filled with jokes, food, drinks, and dancing. My wife, who can't handle alcohol well, got sleepy, so I took her upstairs and put her to bed. I came back downstairs, and everything seemed fine until my sister suddenly said it would be better if my wife didn't attend her wedding. I thought it was a joke and laughed it off, but she was serious. She claimed she wanted me to be by her side and not carry my wife around. I was stunned and told her my wife is not a burden, she's family. My sister insisted that while she accepted my wife, she believed I would end up paying more attention to my wife than to her on her special day. She felt it was only reasonable for a brother to be with his sister during her wedding. I tried to assure her that I could be there for both her and my wife, but then my brothers chimed in, saying I'd done enough for my wife and it was time to focus on my sister. They even suggested I should have married another woman instead of someone they saw as a burden. My father gestured for me to calm down, but my mother joined in, agreeing with my siblings that my wife shouldn't attend the wedding because I wouldn't pay enough attention to my family and the event. At that point, I lost my cool. I went from tipsy to sober in an instant. I told them if my wife wasn't invited, then I wouldn't attend either. I said I was leaving, and as I went upstairs to wake my wife, my family tried to stop me, accusing me of being unreasonable. I warned them that if I heard another offensive word, I'd do something we'd all regret. I woke my wife, told her we had to leave because I had urgent work in the morning, which she believed, and we went home. Since then, my family has been saying I was wrong for threatening them and overreacting. After that explosive evening, I couldn't shake the feeling of betrayal and hurt. My wife sensed my tension and asked me several times what was wrong, but I kept the details to myself, not wanting to upset her further. She believed my story about urgent work and didn't press the matter, trusting me as she always has. The following days were tough. My family kept calling and texting, saying I was in the wrong and that I should apologize. They insisted I was being unreasonable and overprotective, and that it was only natural for them to want my full attention during my sister's wedding. They couldn't see the bigger picture or understand how hurtful their words and actions were. One evening, while sitting with my wife, she noticed I was lost in thought. She gently pressed me, and I finally broke down and told her everything. She listened quietly, her eyes filling with tears as she realized the gravity of the situation. She hugged me tightly, reassuring me that I did the right thing by standing up for her and our marriage. Her support meant everything to me, but it also deepened my resolve to address the issue with my family. I decided it was time to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with them. I called a family meeting, hoping to resolve the conflict once and for all. My wife supported my decision but chose not to attend, understanding that this was something I needed to handle on my own. When I arrived at my parents' house, the tension was palpable. My siblings and parents were there, and we all sat down. I started by expressing how much I loved and respected them but made it clear that their recent actions had deeply hurt me and my wife. I explained that my wife was my partner, and I would always stand by her, just as they would expect their spouses to stand by them. I told them that their comments about my wife being a burden were not only offensive but completely unacceptable. I reminded them of the vows I took on my wedding day and how seriously I took my commitment to my wife. I asked them to imagine how they would feel if someone said such things about their partners. My sister, who had been the catalyst for this conflict, looked remorseful. She apologized, saying she hadn't realized how her words would affect me. She admitted that she had been caught up in the stress of planning her wedding and didn't consider my feelings or my wife's. My brothers and parents followed suit, 
expressing their regrets and apologizing for their insensitivity. While their apologies were a step in the right direction, I made it clear that I needed to see a change in their attitudes. I told them that moving forward, I would not tolerate any disrespect towards my wife. We agreed to work on mending our relationships and to communicate better in the future. After the meeting, I felt a weight lift off my shoulders. It wasn't a perfect resolution, but it was a start. My family promised to be more considerate and understanding, and I hoped that they would keep their word. My wife and I continued to focus on our life together, supporting each other through the ups and downs. In the weeks that followed, my family made a conscious effort to include my wife in family gatherings and events. They treated her with the respect and kindness she deserved, and slowly, the wounds began to heal. My sister's wedding day arrived, and my wife and I attended together. I was by my sister's side when she needed me, but I also made sure my wife felt included and valued. This experience taught me a lot about the importance of standing up for my loved ones and the value of open communication. It wasn't an easy journey, but it strengthened my relationship with my wife and helped my family understand the true meaning of support and acceptance. As time went on, my family began to see my wife in a new light. They saw how resilient and loving she was, and they started to appreciate her as a person rather than seeing her disability first. My wife, for her part, made an effort to connect with them as well, attending family events and engaging in conversations, despite the initial discomfort. One day, my sister came over to our house. She brought a bouquet of flowers and a heartfelt apology. She sat down with my wife and me, expressing her regret for her earlier words and actions. She admitted that she had been wrong to ask my wife to stay away from her wedding and that she now understood how much my wife meant to me. It was a touching moment, and my wife graciously accepted her apology. As my sister's wedding day approached, I made sure to balance my attention between my duties as a brother and my responsibilities as a husband. I was there for my sister during the preparations, helped with last-minute details, and supported her when she felt overwhelmed. At the same time, I made sure my wife was comfortable and included in the celebrations. The wedding day was beautiful. My sister looked radiant, and the ceremony went off without a hitch. I stood by her side as she walked down the aisle, but I also kept an eye on my wife, ensuring she was happy and enjoying herself. My family, seeing the effort I made to be there for both my sister and my wife, began to understand the depth of my commitment to my marriage. During the reception, my wife and I shared a slow dance. It was a quiet moment amidst the chaos of the celebration, and I whispered to her how much I loved her and how grateful I was to have her in my life. She smiled, and for a moment, everything felt perfect. In the months that followed, the relationship between my wife and my family continued to improve. My brothers started to visit more often, and my parents made an effort to get to know my wife better. They saw her as a strong, independent woman who was much more than her disability. We also continued to work on my wife's rehabilitation. While progress was slow, every small victory was celebrated. We grew closer as a couple, facing challenges together and supporting each other through thick and thin. Looking back, I realized that standing up for my wife had not only strengthened our marriage but also brought my family closer. It was a difficult journey, but it was worth every moment of struggle. My family learned to respect and accept my wife, and I learned the importance of standing by my loved ones, no matter what. In the end, love and understanding prevailed. My wife and I continued to build our life together, surrounded by a family that finally saw the value of unity and acceptance. And as we looked to the future, we knew that whatever challenges lay ahead, we would face them together, with the strength of our love and the support of our family. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content.